Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Taurus. And this is going to be for the month of March 2023. I will be doing a weekly as well. But we're going to first cover the full March. I hope you guys are doing well. And the cards that I'm using are the Art of Adventure Tarot. And to clarify, I'm going to be using Learning Tarot Cards. So Taurus, let's see what message we can get for you. So Taurus, this is for you. The hanged man. What are you stuck about? The nine of wands. Are you looking at someone or is someone looking at you? The chariot. It's either someone looking at you or you looking at someone or you're having the same issue reoccurring over and over again. The chariot, something is coming fast towards you. The devil, this could be some type of addiction. It could be food, drugs, sex, obsession, jealousy, anger, it could be anything that's harmful, you know, dark. It could be many, many things. It could be an abusive relationship. Then I got the seven of, um, seven of wands here. Whatever it is, you, that's you here, and these are your challenges, okay? You are above your challenges. So you might be having some kind of struggle right now. Maybe you have, maybe you have recovered from something and maybe you're, you're at a point, maybe something has happened where you feel like you're being drawn back into whatever was unhealthy for you. But darling, don't you worry, your cup overflows, okay? The Ace of Cups, some kind of new love, something new. Or should I have said your cup overflows? <laughs> I have a friend who makes up words, you know. She's too funny. I love her. So anyway, and then this there is the um, Four of Cups. You're relaxing. Oh, new love. You're chilling. The Knight of Cups. Mm, romance. You're coming with proposals. And the Tower. Change. Collapse. Something sudden. Sudden happened. It's felt like total chaos or it's going to feel chaotic. Could be the re reoccurring issues that up here, the nine of um, wands. Maybe you have something to heal from. Maybe you haven't learned a lesson. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you need to learn a lesson and you haven't learned it as yet. So you're going to keep going over the same thing, maybe with different players. But let's see what's going to happen here. So the hangman, along with the hangman came the death card. So there's definitely something changing. There's some kind of trans, um, 
transformation or transition. Some new beginning. You're letting go of old and ending things for the new. And there's a Wheel of Fortune. You got good luck. And this is destiny, darling. Okay, so you got the Death card. You got the Wheel of Fortune. And you got the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is you, Taurus. Very business-like. Something is ending. Something is changing for you right now. Is it your luck? Good luck coming. Ooh, are you looking at the Queen of Swords? An air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius? Or are they looking at you? Are they checking you out? The Queen of Swords. She's a communicator. She's, um... <laughs> is she... I, wouldn't, I don't like the word judgment, you know, or judge. But she's very fair, you know. I mean, she's very straightforward. And then I got this, the Eight of Pentacles. My goodness. The Eight of Pentacles and the Sun. So something is, something is working. There's something, you're working on something. Are you working to impress this air sign? Whatever it is, it's very positive. Very positive. You're working on something very positive. But you have something, a reoccurring issue that is, that is, um, it keeps coming up over and over. But you keep burying it. chariot the four of pentacles you might be holding on to people or, pos or possessions you know with past things with past issues or it could be that your balance where money is concerned or you're just holding on to what you have right now but just don't be stingy or greedy Okay, so the four of pentacles, the ace of swords came next, and the four of wands. You're going to have some kind of new idea coming, something that's going to make somebody happy, some kind of reunion. You might have a commun some communication with someone and there might be some kind of reunion. Or maybe you'll be working along with some people to make, maybe plan a wedding, plan some kind of event. Maybe that's why the four of pentacles came up because you're thinking about the money that you're going to have to spend. <laughs> I don't know. But then you remember the devil is here. Why is the devil here? This is, you know, what are they doing here? What are you doing here? The Hierophant. You might be planning a wedding. But I don't know. Oh. Have you thought about this? Like really thought about it? The card says, the Hierophant, I choose which traditions I embrace and how I do it. Which is good. Then the devil came again. What is going on here? The Hierophant, the devil, the Hierophant, and the devil. You got two paths. There's something going on with you. You have a choice. I'm going to show you again. The devil came, the Hierophant, the devil, and the two of wands. You have a choice. Whatever it is that you are struggling with, the 
Ricard de Herfant also says, traditional institutions, traditional values, conventional conformity, marriage, commitment, religion, beliefs, knowledge, sharing, social groups, education, knowledge, beliefs. So you know what is going on there. And I'm going to leave it like that. But whatever it is, you have a decision to make. And you might be going on a, tra on a vacation or you might be traveling to greener grass. Or the grass might be greener on the other side, for real. And you're trying to think maybe, you know, you need to let go of this unhealthy stuff that's happening here. Maybe it's a very unhealthy relationship. Long term. It's a long term. Whatever it is, it's a long term commitment there. Something. So on top of the seven of um ones, I have the nine of pentacles, independence. You you successful. Whatever it is that you're struggling with there, you were successful. You made a decision. However, that decision caused um I got the ten of um swords. That decision <clears throat> caused um Maybe somebody to backstab you. Somebody to betray you. Something, whatever decision you made, something ended. Somebody might have um, betrayed you in some type of way. Or maybe felt betrayed by you because maybe you ended something that was unhealthy for you. And the Knight of Pentacles, you need to have patience and perseverance. You're going to have an unexpected source of money or income. Time heals all wounds. But you see, not really time heals the wounds. It's when we go and we face those wounds. That's when we heal. Time don't do shit. You got to do it. Because you're always going to carry them burdens and them traumas until we face them. We will always carry them until we face them. The thing is, we're not going to totally get rid of it. Okay? But we're going to learn how to handle ourselves. That when we are triggered, we will know how to balance ourselves or stay balanced. Or if we go down, we'll bring ourselves back up. And breathe. I hope you understood that. So the Ace of Cups, new love. Wherever, whatever this new love is, you're restricted about something. You got some kind of restriction that you need some patience. You're feeling trapped. Why are you feeling trapped? So I got the Eight of Swords here. The Five of Swords, you're struggling within yourself. You got a big struggle going on. And the Seven of Pentacles. Things are going to work out, all right? Things will work out. You are struggling. You have a struggle going on. You have, maybe it's an emotional struggle. Maybe it's something to do with this stuff here, but... You have a struggle, but it will work out. You just have to believe it will and know it will and stop telling yourself it can't. You can. I was just told that today. Michelle, you can. You stop yourself. Okay? So the four of cups. So once you take care of this, you realize... You got control of it, or you got you, you can handle this. You're gonna be able to relax. And then I got the six of wands above the four of cups. I got the ace of cups again, new love. And I got the three of wands here. So once you come to terms with all this up here that's going on, which is a lot, um, you're going to be successful. There is going to be new love. This, this new love will stick around. This new beginning, whatever 
this confusion is the feeling of trapped in your anxiety and you're feeling defeated and angry or there's conflict and betrayal, whatever it is. Things will work out. The new beginning will still be there. The new love. It's going to come. The three of wands. Travel, moving abroad. Maybe to a foreign land. Hmm. Believe in yourself. Everything will get better. Your hard work is paying off. So the Knight of... Knight of Cups. You got some struggles coming up this month here for you. Um, the Knight of Cups. You have romantic proposals, but there's a part of you that's saying, man, I don't have enough. I got anxiety. I got fear. I don't have enough money. This is the mindset of lack. This is the Five of Pentacles, okay? Then you got the Page of Cups. You need to use your intuition. Use your intuition. Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, romance, emotions. It's a good idea. Whatever it is you're working on, where this romance is concerned, it says it's a good idea. <laughs> But you got the Nine of Swords here again. You got worry. Why are you worrying so much? You got a lot of go a lot of anxiety going on. This is why I think you're gonna have a tower moment. Because you have a lot of fear and anxiety. Sleepless nights. Something is keeping you up. You gotta take care of this issue here. Whatever this issue. Whatever this issue is, you need to take care of it, okay? I think that's what's tying you up. So let's see about the towel. Once you take care of this issue, I got the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving, generosity. I got the Two of Pentacles, balance, no matter how many responsible how much responsibility you have and the knight of swords so this change this towel moment is not necessarily going to be bad okay it's just going to shake you up some but you got to take care of this issue i was telling you about please the knight of swords big changes opportunities you're going to have to seize the moment you're going to have to jump in you're going to have to be assertive and direct honest do not act rashly, okay? Do not act like sudden, you know? Don't be impulsive. You're a strong, decisive person. So take your time. Don't be hard on yourself. You are human. You're in a human vessel. Just make the right decision. Love yourself. I love you. Take care and I will see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>